I'm Tonya and welcome to Candid Kids Creations. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. I started making these videos as a way to help teach my children how to cook and to pass on some household tips I've learned. We've decided to make our lessons public and to share what we're doing with others who may want to learn to cook or try out some of the ideas we found work for us. If you want to know when I post new videos, hit the subscribe button below and then post a comment saying I subscribed or introducing yourself. I'll respond to any comments made and look forward to getting to know you. Now let's get on with the lesson that we're covering today. So for the fajitas, we need to slice the chicken pretty thin. So I'm going to open the package and pull out the chicken breast. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken breast. And um, up three breasts will work on this. So we want to slice the chicken thinly into just little slivers. Um, you don't want to make them too thin, but I'm cutting them about a third to a half an inch wide and then I'm making long strips going across the narrower part of the breast. I'm going to add the last bits of chicken that I cut up and then I'm going to turn my pan on and I'm going to start browning the chicken. And I want it to be cooked thoroughly. So I'm cooking this at medium high and because I had the oil in there to the cold pan and didn't have a chance to spread around, I'm just going to make sure that the oil gets everywhere before it starts cooking the chicken. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add three cloves of garlic. If you have jarred garlic that's already been um, put in oil, you could just use that. It doesn't really matter. I'm just putting three in just to add some. And if you don't have it at all, you could leave this out even. It just adds a little more flavor to it. So this is a garlic press if you don't have one or don't recognize the tool. And to use it, you just drop your clove in and then you close it and you're going to crush it and it comes out the filter at the end. And then you just kind of cut off whatever doesn't come out on its own. And then the rest of the seasoning that we put on this is very simple. It's the Lipton onion soup mix. You may have a store brand that's the same thing, that's fine. If you don't have access to that, you could use minced onion and some powdered bouillon either beef or chicken. Because it's chicken, you might want to use chicken. This actually, I believe, has a beef flavor to it. So, so you're just going to spread that over, and then as it's cooking, we're going to mix it in, and that'll spread the flavors around. So I'm going to cover that for a few minutes and let it start to cook through on the bottom, and then I'll flip it around and stir it up some more to mix everything up and make sure that the parts that aren't cooked yet are cooked on the bottom. probably been in here about five minutes now and most of the chicken has cooked all the way through. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes. It's also starting to produce more juices and that's helping to break up the powder that had originally stuck to the bottom of the pan. So if you're doing this for the first time and you're not used to cooking strips of chicken like this, a good way to test to see if it's ready is to take one of the thicker pieces and to just cut it in half. It should be tender, it should break easily and you should be able to pull it out and see that it's white all the way through. Ready now to add the vegetables. And I'm using uh, half of a package of pre-mixed peppers and onions from Trader Joe's. That you could use, um, you may have something similar in your store, but you also could just cut up a pepper and an onion and cut them into strips and add them to it. So either option is fine. These are frozen, so they're gonna take a little bit longer. I could have thawed them out, but there's not a rush, so I'm just going to let them simmer here until it all mixes in. 
and there's not as many veggies as I normally would put. If you were using fresh, I would put a whole pepper in, and if you wanted the colors, you could do a half of two different color peppers. And then the onion, I would probably put half of a sweet onion or a Vidalia onion and cut it into thin strips. Otherwise, you're going to have an overwhelming amount of onion and not many peppers. So we're going to let that simmer a little bit. I'm turning down the heat to medium, and I'm going to let it simmer until the vegetables are soft and tender. I don't want them to be too squishy. I want them to still have some body to them. And the chicken is cooked, so this is pretty much ready. The next step that we'll do is we'll add, we'll put this out with cheese, with sour cream, guacamole, black olives, and we'll use tortilla wraps to wrap them up into the fajitas. If you would rather do a rice bowl, you could do a bowl of rice or cauliflower rice, and you're going, you could add this as a topping, and that's actually what I'm going to do tonight with the cauliflower rice. But, um, but you have different options with this. It's also good as just a side dish with meat on its own and not having a huge meal if you want to make this into a lunch or a light supper with some salad. So lots of options with it. It's a really tasty dish. And as you see, it was really simple. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you try this and if you make any changes to it. I'm always open to ideas if you've done something different. And um, send me some photos of how yours turned out. I'd love to see that too. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell below if you want to know when our next video is ready. And if you like this video, please share it with a friend and like it below. I hope you'll check out our other how-to videos on cooking and real-life problem solving. Thanks for watching.